The Qing Dynasty of China is quite possibly the largest dynasty in China's history, lasting from 1636 to 1912, when they were overthrown by Chinese nationalists during the Jinhai Revolution. Let's say China is just giving back all of the former possessions. How would things turn out for the already powerful communist country? First off, it would encompass six other countries. Taiwan, Mongolia, Russia, Nepal, Kazakhstan, and Kyrgyzstan. The area would be 13.1 million kilometers squared, which would place it as the second largest country in front of Canada at 9.98 million kilometers squared, but of course behind Russia at 17 million kilometers squared. I would assume Xi Jinping, the current president of China, would take charge of the country's emperor. The population would be 1.43 billion. Not to give them any ideas, but perhaps this could delay India surpassing China for at least another decade. The GDP would be boosted to 12.6 trillion in United States dollars, however not shifting in position. This could give China some edge in toppling the United States as the world's largest economy. It would have an active duty force of 2.5 million soldiers, just below the Ottoman Empire's record of 2.55 million soldiers. The reserves would be 2.54 million strong, which would be the sixth largest reserve force in the world, in front of independent Taiwan at 1.67 million soldiers, but behind Russia at whole with 2.57 million soldiers. Together, China's military adds up to a total of 5.04 million men and women. The budget would be 172 million in United States dollars, which would not change China's position. For the return of the Qing Dynasty, they would probably keep Beijing as the capital but would rename it to Peking. The largest city would be Chongqing, with 30 million residents. The country's official language would most likely be Chinese, while recognizing a few minority languages such as Russian, Mongolian, Tibetan, Uyghur, Formosan, Kazakh, Kyrgyz, and Nepali. If the empire were to reunite, it's safe to say there would be a cold war between them and the United States. This empire would fulfill the Chinese administration's dreams of fully claiming Taiwan. If you like this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up, leave some comments as to how you think China would be improved, share this video, and please subscribe. Thanks for watching, and I'll be back tomorrow for the next video.